Hi everyone, it's Julia and welcome to my channel and, and to this week's project. I'm going to be doing a scrappy applique using these wonderful scraps of fabric that I had gotten from a viewer. Thank you so much. They have a primitive look to them, so I don't know if they've been dyed in coffee or tea or something, but they, they just have a wonderful look to them. I have a couple different iron-on adhesives here. I have the steam -a seam 2 and then I have my heat and bond light, which is my go-to. I wanted just to talk a little bit about them. Um, the Steam Seam 2 has a tacky surface to one side, um, and the heat and bond is not. And so I'm going to be actually using glue on the heat and bond. The Steam Seam 2 is, a, is quite a bit more expensive than the heat and bond light, but it's wonderful because it does not, um, oh, it does not add any any bulk or heaviness to your applique. So I do love to use the steam -a seam too, especially on bigger quilts and that type of thing. But I am going to be using my heat and bond light. Um, and I just am doing this easy heart design. I'm going to grab my Sharpie here. You do want to draw your design onto your heat and bond light. Um, on This is the paper side is up. So I'm tracing it right on the paper side of this product. And you want to use something dark, like a Sharpie, because you need to be able to see your design um, on the other side. Now I'm going to be flipping this over, and I'm going to be working with that adhesive side up. And you can see where I can see that heart through this. And putting, adding my, my school glue, just putting a generous amount on, so I'm actually adding glue to glue, which kind of seems odd, but if you do this project, I think you will understand more what I'm doing. Just going to be taking a palette knife and spreading that glue. You can certainly use a credit card here or just a piece of cardboard. You just want to have that glue evenly distributed on your design and just in a pretty thin layer. Now it's on to laying my pieces over the top of that glue. Just spreading them out and I'm varying my widths. These strips came in approximately, I would say about a half inch wide width, it's all the way up to a two inch wide. So varying my widths and also my colors just to get some contrast. Smoothing them out as I go. I forgot to mention this this is actually going to be going on a pillow, um, but I did do three of these hearts, and I'll be showing pictures at the end of my other projects. I did an upcycled flannel shirt, and then I also did a bag, and I will, like I said, be showing pictures at the end on that. But this is a primitive pillow, and it, I did a different, or just kind of a fun um, technique on it that I wanted to share with you. That glue has dried now. I filled in my entire heart and I'm just ironing that or just um, cutting it out and then I'm ironing it from the top. Now my paper is still on the back, but I want I'm, I'm ironing that to it to activate that adhesive of the heat and bond. And you can see now I've been peel that paper off and I've got that applique. I've got that sticky stuff on the back side of this. And now I'm going to be adhering that or ironing that right onto the top of my pillow. I have this this denim heart, and I'm showing. I'm going to be showing it several times. Don't quite know where I'm going to be putting this denim heart, so it does end up someplace on this pillow. But um, I I went ahead and I ironed that design down, and now I just I'm drawing a a line just making an even line on the front of my pillow and I'm cutting some strips or cutting right with my rotary cutter all the way through this canvas that I am making this pillow. Um, I drew that line on just to get it straight and then I am doing um, just a basket weave. You remember when we used to do this and just going in and out just thought this was a fun technique on the side of a pillow. I had all these strips and I thought, well, this is just going to add a nice little detail to this. And I completely flunked 
basket weaving 101 on this. It took me a couple different tries to get this figured out. And adding a safety pin to the top of that would have made it easier to, to stream, to um, weave that in and out too, but really like the look of it. And again, it has a primitive look to it. Um, now I'm just working on adding a piece of wanting to add some lace to this and I don't adhere this right now. I take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to be doing some free motion stitching on this. I have my feed dogs dropped. Really easy uh, free motion. I'm just going to be outlining each one of these little strips to keep it into place. Now I have my cotton canvas that I adhered my um, heart to and then on the back side of this I have warm and natural batting. Uh, I usually put that warm and natural batting on the back side of all my pillows. It just adds some stability, gives it a quilted look and I just it's just a really easy to free motion on um, that with that heat and bond light excuse me that warm and natural on the back of it. Just going over this little lace there. I just added that lace. And now here's that heart again. And I've, I, I once again decide not to put it on. I, I take, took it off. And then heading over to my basket weave now. And I'm just um, basically just closing up those little slits that I made. And again, just doing that right with my free motion foot. Have my feed dogs dropped, and I'm just meander stitching and um, doing all the all the driving on this. Just going around each one of these. I changed to my regular foot now, and I'm doing some um, decorative stitches. I love that heart. I thought that was really appropriate, and now I'm adding a leaf to this one. I've got everything on and so on on and I remembered I had this stamp that says um, follow your heart and so I thought well maybe I'll figure out something with that. I was really happy with the um, impression that I got with this. I am using a Ranger ink which is completely washable and waterproof and I'll link everything down below for you if you're wanting to look at that. Um, but I, I didn't like the font on this. It was hard to read and I, the F wasn't quite right. And so I went over this with my Arteza fabric pens just to outline that a little bit. And then after I got this all done, I decided not to even use this. But this is how I work sometimes and I wanted to share that with you. That not everything works. I just threw it in my box. I have a ton of little stamped things that I sometimes throw in this box and use. I finally added that heart right into the middle and stitched that on and now I'm just using my rotary cutter and evening out my um, squaring up my edges and removing some of that extra batting. Laying the backs, back of my pillow on um, which is also a cotton canvas. I am I usually take my marker and mark that opening. I usually I leave like a five or six inch opening at the bottom of my pillows. Now I'm going to be showing you or I'm going to be linking another video where I actually complete my pillows. I use my sewing machine. I actually use my zipper foot. I'll have that up in the i cards and also down below for you. I don't show how I completely finish this pillow but I um, did turn it right sides and I'm going to be doing one final press on it, pressing that opening closed. Just turn that under and just give it a really nice press. Using my fingers to roll those seams, doing any extra clipping. And this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's a picture of the completed pillow and the bag that I made. And then here is an upcycled flannel that I also did and added some lace to the bottom. Thank you so much everybody who's joining me today. Bye for now.